In this video, I'll be showing you how to customize the layout of your group headers and group directories in BuddyBoss platform. Our new options allow you to have a group header with the group photo center aligned or with the group photo left aligned. In the groups directory, you can also display the group photo as center aligned or left aligned. And not only that, we've also given you a bunch of options to customize which content appears in the header as well as which content appears in the directories. So for example, you could create a really minimalist groups directory with just a small amount of content appearing for each group. As we prepare for the upcoming BuddyBoss Theme 2.0 launch, we're introducing these new options to help us achieve the BuddyBoss Theme 2.0 designs and to provide more flexibility and control to you as a site owner. And with that, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how to use these new settings. Here I am in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss Settings Groups. When you update to the latest versions of BuddyBoss Platform and Theme, you may notice these warnings telling you to install BuddyBoss Platform Pro to unlock these new layout options. If you are using BuddyBoss Theme, then BuddyBoss Platform Pro was included with your purchase. So if you see these notices, just head over to your BuddyBoss account area and make sure to download and install BuddyBoss Platform Pro on your site. Back at our group settings, after enabling the BuddyBoss Platform Pro plugin, all of our notices have gone away. And so we can start to configure our new options. Let's start with the group headers. Under header style, we have options to set the group avatars to left aligned or center aligned. And under elements, we can select which elements to show in the group header. So coming back to the groups directory, let's go ahead and open up a group. We can see the header style is set to left aligned. And we're also displaying all of the optional elements, including the group type, which is a club in this case, last activity, group description, and we can click view more to read the full description, which we're now displaying in this nice modal pop-up. We're also displaying the group organizers and the group's privacy. So let's go ahead and change some of these settings. I'll switch the header style to centered, and then let's disable all of the options except for last activity and group privacy. And I'll click Save Settings. And let's go refresh our group. And just like that, we have a totally different header style. Let's go back to the groups directory. And here we can see that the grid style is set to left aligned. And we're also displaying all of the optional elements, including group avatars, group privacy, group type, last activity, members, and join buttons. And then we have a couple of elements that are specific to grid or list view. Cover images are optional in grid view only. And group descriptions are optional in list view only. So let's go ahead and change some of these settings. We can select if we should display grid and list view, or only grid or only list view. And we can pick if the default view should be grid or list. I'll leave these settings as they are. Let's change the grid style to centered, and then let's disable everything except for cover images, avatars, and group type. And I'll click Save Settings. And let's go refresh our groups directory. And just like that, we have a totally different directory style. 
If I go back to list view, you can see the elements have been disabled here as well, including the group descriptions being removed. And lastly, we can also adjust the size of these cover images for both group directories and for group headers. If I scroll down to group images, you can see we have this new option for cover image sizes. These settings were previously part of BuddyBoss theme options. They've now been moved into BuddyBoss Platform Pro. We move them so that we can have a consistent set of layout options in the BuddyBoss Platform settings, and so we can later extend these settings into the REST API. We can set the cover image width in group headers to default or full width. I'll leave it as default. And we can set the height to large or small. I'll set it to small. And let's go ahead and save these settings. We get a warning that changing the cover image size is going to reposition our group's cover images since the image size is going to change. I'll click OK. And then let's refresh the group's directory. And now we can see that the cover images have gotten smaller. Let's click on a group. And the image is smaller in the group header as well. Let's click to reposition it. I think that looks good. And I'll click on Save Changes. As you can see, we've provided a ton of options to customize how your groups display. We're really excited to launch this feature. I know a lot of these options have been requested by customers who want more flexibility and control with how they can customize the look and feel of their communities.